Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Collie. This evening's story is a very special book, a part of the Little People Big Dreams collection and it's called Martin Luther King Jr. Are we ready? Here we go. Little Martin was a spiritual boy from Atlanta who came from a long line of preachers. His dad was a preacher, his uncle was a preacher, his grandfather was a preacher. Maybe he'd become a great pre preacher too. One day, a friend invited him over to play. Martin was shocked when he was asked to leave because he was black. That day, he realised something terrible was going on. This terrible thing was called segregation. It meant that public places like restaurants and buses had separate spaces for black and white people. Martin and his friends were sent to different schools. Martin believed that one shouldn't remain silent or accept something if it's wrong. He promised to himself that when he grew up, he'd fight injustice with the most powerful weapon of all, words. Martin studied at universities in Georgia, Pennsylvania and Massachusetts, where he read about Mahatma Gandhi, the man who had improved the lives of millions of Indians with peaceful methods of protest. When he finished his studies, Martin moved to Alabama and became the pastor of a church in Montgomery. Every Sunday from his pulpit, he encouraged his congregation to speak up about things that mattered. One evening, a woman called Rosa was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus. Martin asked the people in his community not to take the bus again until the law was changed. Many citizens were inspired by Rosa's story and Martin's words. Suddenly, buses were almost empty. They stayed empty for more than a year until segregation on Montgomery buses finally ended. It was the first major civil rights action in America, but not the last. Martin encouraged people all over the country to stand up for their rights and join in with peaceful protests. They were often attacked and Martin was arrested 29 times, but he and his followers never fought back with force. He knew that hate can't drive out hate, only love can. Martin helped to organise a protest march on Washington, where he gave a life-changing speech. It began with four simple yet powerful words. I have a dream. The next year, Martin began, became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. His words of hope, peace and justice, justice called a nation to change its laws and make them equal for everyone. And if you listen to your heart, you can still hear little Martin asking you to keep his dream alive. A dream of a world where we are judged by our character, not by the colour of our skin.
เปลี่ยน